morning welcome to my crazy life it's Lori and I am up and out on a Saturday morning it's about 10 o'clock 1025 slow start today I woke up with quite the headache it's gonna rain so therefore I get a headache stopped at Tim Hortons for some coffee and I got a sausage egg and cheese English muffin hold the English muffin which I always get crazy looks I don't eat carbs I try not to eat carbs I don't eat bread so yeah there's that um, and I like Tim Hortons a lot their coffee's delicious the lines are crazy right now the line at my Tim Hortons was out into the street for the drive through so I went in but it was no better really inside um, I just didn't want to hold up the line if I had to, you know, if they didn't understand that I didn't want the English muffin, which, I mean, if they give it to me, fine, I pick it off. It's not a big deal, but I don't like wasting food either. Um, the one thing I don't like about Tim Hortons coffee is the lid. It sounds very petty, I know, but if you can see the lid, it's very flat. It's not like a Starbucks or a, like even a gas station lid, they're flat. And so this, the coffee sloshes into my car. So if that's a reason not to like something, which, I mean, I have to clean my car again. Anywho, so I'm headed to the Dollar Tree, a different Dollar Tree today. Uh, last night I posted my DIY, which I finished and I absolutely love. But now I'm going to go look and see if I can go and find any more little crafty bits to do some more because I'm really enjoying the DIYs. And if we're being truthful with ourselves, it's almost time for me to start Christmas crafting for gift giving. Um, one year I knit everybody shawls. Um, last year? No, year before, two years ago, I sewed bowl cozies for my family, and I do need to make some for my two cousins. So I might get some Kentucky fabric and make her some. Um, but you put your, they, they're they made with like heat proof fiber batting, and it's in the shape of, it's concave in the shape of a bowl, and you sit your soup bowl in there, and it keeps your hands from getting hot in the winter time when you're eating like chili, or you know, you can put it in the microwave and the bowl gets hot, they're just cute. I don't know what I want to do this year. I need to come up with an idea for my family that I can craft. Uh, I have to work tonight. It's some comedy get down, showdown, beat down, smack down. I'm not sure. It's um, comedians at my part time job. So I'll go in there at 6, be there till about 11, which is why I really wanted to sleep in this morning. Just, you know, because I'll be tired tonight and I have to get up and coupon. But my headache decided that I was going to get up early. So, kind of hoping the coffee will kick in. And if it doesn't get any better here soon, I'll take some ibuprofen and some Sudafed. Try to clear my head. I was going to go to the Dollar Tree that's about 25 minutes away. But I just, I don't feel like I need to go that far, I suppose. So we'll do the larger Dollar Tree closer to me that sometimes has some different stuff. And then we'll see how I feel when I come out if I've decided to continue on. Wow. It's like create your own adventure today. And then I'm going to go home and I do need to start cleaning my craft room. It's kind of a disaster. It's mostly things I've purchased that really just need to be put away but majority of it is stuff that I'm, I need to get packed but I can't get my suitcase up on the table because I have too much stuff so I need to kind of go through the table put the things I'm going to pack in their containers because it's a lot of face wipes and you know makeup travel sized things um, health and beauty aid mostly right now and then a gift that I'm bringing to the little girl of a friend of mine, her daughter, 
and then I have a pile of stuff started for my trip in July, which I've got all that in its own bag, so that's helpful. And then I have some books that need to be put away, and I am on the hunt for that True Blood book. Hopefully I'll find that. And then I need to come up with an idea. I would like to do a giveaway for 50 subscribers. I watch podcasts. They're like, it's my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm like, oh, I've got 39. But that's okay. I mean, I'm building. So I'm tr looking for some things. I kind of haven't decided what's going to go in the giveaway. I would. At first I was like, oh, Dollar Tree giveaway. Because people like Dollar Tree stuff. As do I. But, oh, excuse me, part of it was like, oh, I should do like an Ohio giveaway with things from Ohio, like some chocolate Buckeyes. And for those of you who don't know, a Buckeye, first of all, an actual Buckeye is a poisonous tree nut. They uh, grow on trees. They're black with like a brown iris type thing. And that's how they, I believe they got the name. They look like a deer buck's eye because they're black and then the brown in the middle. So that's our state tree and Ohio State, that's their mascot. So Buckeyes, the candy, the food are huge in Ohio, especially if you're a Buckeye fan, but it's an Ohio thing. And what it is, the candy Buckeye is a chocolate center dip, no, reverse that, a peanut butter center and you dip it in chocolate all but the round for the brown Buckeye portion. They're really good. Um, you know, you learn to make those when you're a kid. I, I wouldn't sell, yeah, I wouldn't give away the ones I made because I don't know that they would ship very well. But we have a candy store here called Anthony Thomas. And they make, it's a candy manufacturing company. They make candy. And they, um, they sell prepackaged Buckeyes in little boxes, individuals, in big boxes. But they're more shelf stable, so I was thinking some Buckeyes, I don't know, something fun that screams Ohio, like, like, what's his name? Not Jim Carrey. Carrey somebody, he had that show. I'm on a tangent apparently. But anyway, so I thought about that, or it could be a mixed bag, you know, mixed bag, hodgepodge of some Dollar Tree, some Target, I don't know, we'll see when I come across. I'm only at 39, so I've got time. But on my, well, I guess on this podcast, or this bloggy, we'll talk about it and see what we decide to do. So just kind of something that's rolling around in my head. There's nothing official. Oh, look at my eyes. They're, I don't know if you can see them because my glasses are transitioning, but they're all... I also need to do, or I would like to do some, um, just a couple DIYs and have them on the burner while I'm away. I can load them and have them set to go live at specific times, you know, while I'm on vacation in case, I mean, I totally plan on videoing while I'm there. And putting some videos together. I've been learning how to use the app on my phone to help me with that process. But just in case, I mean, I'm not sure how um, reliable the internet is going to be and all of that. So I would like to have some content. I don't want to go two weeks with nothing. That would be rude and boring. So what I'm thinking is putting together a few DIYs, videos, and then they can load while I'm gone. Or I can load them. Well, no, because then I would have the same issue. <laughs> okay, I will load them while I'm gone. Um, but I do plan on taking a lot of video. I'm taking my tripod and a selfie stick with me on my trip. And I leave in two weeks and one day. I cannot wait. I'm so super excited. Uh, my niece has about two more weeks of school she's a teacher and where she lives they missed a lot of school this year for snow but a lot more so I believe for ice like ice on the roads and she works in a very rural community 
um, a lot of her students are, um, you know, their parents own farms. They are out in rural Ohio, and when the back roads, they're county roads. You know, a her county I think has one plow, and they depend on local. You know, they hire local folks to to plow the roads. But so, you know, what in Columbus or a city? you would miss one day of school, she would miss like two or three, you know, because it's just, it was that dangerous for the kids. So, um, she had five, I think five snow days to make up or inclement weather days, catastrophe days, whatever they're calling them to these days. But she had five days to make up. And we were getting nervous because I'm like, um, Sarah, we have a trip planned. Next time we just need to not plan it so close to her end of school. Um, the deal is though, when traveling, and we're going to hit a red light so I can share, when traveling, it's summertime, kids' holidays, Christmas, you know, vacations from school, spring break are the most expensive time to travel. So what we try to do is what's called the shoulder months. Um, the very beginning of summer, beginning of June, end of May or fall right before school goes back so it's a little tricky with her because she is a teacher and she's off when the kids are off and that's the most expensive time to travel it's kind of a little tricky but we tend to go the beginning of june as a reward to her at the end of the year it's not going to be too hot no matter where we go and it hasn't hit peak season yet i think the end of june middle of june starts peak season at most places so for us, the beginning of June just works. We just need to be cautious and conscientious. And when you book a year and a half out, you have no idea what the weather is going to be. And if, you know how many extra school days you'll have. But you know, for me, I work in corporate America. It's I request the time off. It's approved. We go. It's a little different for her, but we work. We make it work. We won't have another major trip for two years um, after this Scotland trip and that I believe in my entire family or a majority of my family we are going to Ireland to tour and kind of it's a family trip go back to our roots you know we we have a very on um, all sides of my family have a big Irish or we feel that we have a big Irish. I've not done the DNA testing, so I can't prove this. But I do know that my my maternal great grandparents, so my mom's grandparents, came from Ireland on their honeymoon. So I know for a fact that my mom is at least half Irish, because her father is 100% Irish. So that would make me at least 25%. And we've all kind of claimed Ireland as our heritage, you know, Irish. Ouch. See, I just burnt myself with my cup of coffee because the lid doesn't, I hit a bomb and the lid doesn't allow to stop the coffee. So thumb skis though. Just took my spot, which is just rude, but whatever. I'll park here. So anyway, we've claimed Ireland as our motherland, even though, who knows, honestly, what we are. I mean, I know we're Irish. I know that there's some English. Um, oh, I've got cough on the front of me. My last name has been traced back to um, old English farmers in England, so, or the UK. All right, I'm going into the Dollar Tree. Uh, maybe I'll bring you with me. Maybe I won't. We'll see how busy it is. We'll chat later. Bye.
I'm back. No video in the store. I did take a bunch of pictures and I'll put them at the end where I could. That store was a zoo. There was tons of people in there everywhere. No, it was just not gonna happen. But I found some stuff, nothing that I anticipated getting, but things I needed anyway. So, or wanted. I didn't find the wish list items that I was hunting for, but I did find a few things. So we'll cover that. I thought I would just show you now and we'll finish up this vlog. I got two of these water blue water balls, swish splash. You, you know, you put them in the pool, they fill with water, you toss them around. Um, my trip in July will be a pool, I'm sure. So we'll take that with the kids. I took everything out and now it goes back in. I actually, I lie. I found two wish list items, the coffee magnets. This one says I only need coffee on days ending with the letter Y. And this one says a yawn is a silent scream for coffee. I love these. I'm starting my Christmas shopping. Who knew? I talked about it before and now we're going to do it. Um, for my cousin, we all love coffee. So I'm thinking for them a coffee basket. So I grabbed these. One for me and one for my cousins. Um, for again my trip in July, I got my little Addison some Barks Root Beer Chapstick. Because I'm putting in our bags adult beverages for the three older people and for the child she's getting a bottle of root beer and so I got her some root beer to go with it. I picked up one more pack of these because I love them and I'm afraid that I would never find them again. <laughs> so I have, I just buy them whenever I see them. It's a three pack, I love them. I picked up one of these water bottles and I did show the picture of all the other colors. I like the teal. Um, I'm really trying to stop buying coffee every day at work in the afternoon. So what I thought, make some iced coffee, prep it in the morning in this, put it in the refrigerator and then drink it. We'll see. I mean, sometimes I just need my coffee. I found one of the metal pinwheels. And this one spins pretty freely. I doubt it will spin in the wind, but it's metal. It'll look cute in my little flower bed for Memorial Weekend and 4th of July. I've got two packs of just plain gift bags, a blue, I love navy blue, and a purple. Um, if you watch my couponing hauls, I got some baby stuff and I'm gonna bag them up for the babies. And then I got some books, which I love books. But I found one for my cousin Riley. Now he's in high school, not a big reader again, but trying. So this is the secret game. This is about the history of basketball. And he loves sports. I know he's more into baseball right now, but hopefully he'll enjoy this read. And if not, they can donate it to somebody else. But the secret game by Scott Ellsworth. And this retails at $27. So for a dollar, we'll take a chance and hope he likes it. And then for Sarah, I got a real guide to getting it together once and for all, really. And this one retail for $19.95, it's a paperback, but it's a book. It's like all kinds of life. You, you know, beauty tips, household tips, cleaning tips, makeup, how to clean, how to polish, how to organize. And I just thought Sarah would get a enjoyment out of this book. So I grabbed that for her. Uh, Ashley Rickards, R-I-C-K-A-R-D-S, wrote the book. Oh, she's the star of MTV's Awkward? I don't know. So I got that for her, and then I did find this for me. I guess it's another wish list, although it was never formally a wish list item, but I was like, oh, I would love that book. Flea Market Finds. who wrote this hundreds of simple DIY ideas for transforming old treasures which I love a good DIY and this book I don't know how much it retails for $14.95 US it's paperback and it just has a bunch of ideas of old things that you can find and what can you do with them 
So I thought this would be a good book for me. And I would enjoy reading that. So that was it for the Dollar Tree. The sun wants to come out. The rain wants to happen. I don't know. So now we're heading out to go home. It's 11.23. So it took me almost an hour in that store. Which is rough for me because I'm usually in and out. This is a store I come to frequently. I know where all the things are. I don't need, sorry, I have my wallet holding up my camera. Let's see how long it lasts. I need to find a better deal to put this up to vlog in the car. I have, um, at home I've got my tripod that I love. It's turning out to be very versatile. It's also a selfie stick. Um, it's a Bluetooth selfie stick, which is nice, except for the Bluetooth. Ah, oh, sorry, crash. The Bluetooth, watch watch you there for a second. Uh, the Bluetooth, we're a mess, does not trigger recording. It only triggers picture. And the same thing with my selfie stick on this phone, which is kind of a little sad, but um, whatever. I can set my phone up to do voice activated, but it's very finicky. Like I really have to be right on it, I think, because I have set it up across the room and yelled, record and nothing. Or say cheese and nothing. Um, arm's length, I would suppose, is as far as it can be. So what is on the rest of my day? Not a whole heck of a lot. I do want to clean my craft room. I figure I'll go home and I need to drink some water today. I feel kind of headachey and dry and I just took some more Sudafed so that's going to make me more dry. But it's very fun. Straight ahead here, which you can't really see, is sunshine. Right over here. So let's see, I'm 12 o'clock. At 11 o'clock there's sunshine. At 1 o'clock, dark, ominous clouds. 10 o'clock, more dark clouds. So it's going to be a spotty day, I think, which is fine. It'll help me stay indoors and get the things done that need to happen. Because, you know, that's what you got to do on the weekends. Now, I am off tomorrow. It's Sunday, and I'm not working anywhere. I try not to work anywhere on Sundays if I can get away with it. Um, I like the homebody on Sundays. I just like to have the day to shop or craft. I do need to work on my sweater today. I would love to get that finished that I'm knitting. Shop, craft, um, grocery shop, cook for the week. Just preparation. I don't like to, I don't like to start Monday in a rush, if that makes sense. I like to have Sunday as my jump start to the week. And I feel like if my house is clean, my food is prepped, you know, I'm ready for the week. I'm going to have a successful week. I'm not going to be forgetting things. I'm not going to be, um, feel like I'm behind the eight ball all week. I do not like feeling that I'm behind starting the day, you know? Um, now that the weather is turning nicer, now I'm driving into sunshine. So I don't know what's happening out here today. Uh, now that the weather has turned, I need to start riding my bike. I need to get out and start exercising tomorrow or Monday I really want to take the spinning class so I'm going to do my best to stick around after work and do that class um, at the gym at my work um, I do have a job interview on Monday it's with the same company just a different position so we'll see how that goes um, it'll be exciting if I got it I'm not unhappy where I'm at so if I don't get it, that's okay too. It's just a, you know, it's kind of a opportunity for growth within my company. So that's nice. Um, yeah, so things are kind of looking up. I've, like I said, I've got two weeks of vacation, so I really need to start. I know it sounds crazy to some people, but I will be anxious until I'm packed, or at least until I've got a majority of the things hammered out and packed and know where everything is like my passport I'm 
kind of frustrated. I ordered an organizer from Wish, which ships from China, and it hasn't come yet. So I need to check on that. So I'm kind of frustrated with that because I really want to put together my. It's it's like a, and I'll show it to you when it comes. It's a zipper pouch. You put your passport in there, travel documents, airline tickets, pens, a notebook. It kind of keeps everything organized and together all your documents and I would put my travel notebook in there you know that has all the things that we're doing or want to do so it's just a like reach and grab you know I'll throw it in my backpack I could throw it in my purse I'm also reevaluating the bag that I'm carrying every day purse wise on vacation um, I have a crossbody bag it's black. It's nice. I love it. I, and it's pretty decent size. I took it to the Wool Festival, but it was a little cumbersome. And I'm like thinking, do I really want to carry that? Or I have several smaller backpacks that I might utilize as my day-to-day. -day. I've got a gray one that actually will match everything I'm wearing that is um, I just feel like better, easier because if I put water in this crossbody bag, if I put a lunch or snacks, I have my knitting because you know we're, I don't leave home without my knitting. Um, travel documents it's going to be heavy as a cross body bag and it feels choky on my neck. Now the good part about it is it's easy access to my money. I can reach it, blah, blah, my phone, my camera. I'm also going to have that. I'll have my little tripod, which is totally tiny and lightweight. Um, so I'm debating. If I had to pack right this second, I would bring the backpack, which I'm going to get it out today and see. Because it's, I got it last year. Um, if you see my shirt, in my hat. Um, this, is part, this is all swag from a bicycle ride that I do every year. This will be my eighth year doing it. It's called Pelotonia. And here in Central Ohio, Columbus, it's a fundraiser to raise money for cancer research at the James Cancer Hospital at Ohio State University. Now, my dad and my mom both died from cancer and my stepfather um, my mom and my dad both were treated at the James now to me like that in and of itself is worth fundraising you know for this the other kind of reason that I choose chose to do Pelotonia instead of the Coleman or whatever other cancer things 100% of the dollars that I raise go to cancer research 100% so last year just last year alone this weekend ride donated 23 million dollars to the James Cancer Research and a lot of the money goes to research, but that also goes to funding young researchers' education. So they're educating these kids who want to go into research. So they're kind of, you know, they're helping them with finances and their tuition and, and scholarship money. But it's also going into other areas of research. So to me, it, you know, it's what I'm choosing to do as a fundraiser. Now, we do have to raise a fair amount of money. Um, my cousin Debbie and I ride miles although last year I only did 25 but we ride 50 and we raise twelve hundred and fifty dollars each that's our minimum requirement that we have to raise so when we go down it's a whole weekend affair um, Friday is registration they have a big party and all of the swag and extras are given to us from local companies my company is a big sponsor the bank I work for um, there's insurance companies, Bob Evans, that's a, you know, the limited brand, so Victoria's Secret, um, Ascenta, which is the, you know, the, the corporate owner of Lane Bryant, Justice, 
there's a lot of corporations centered here in Ohio and a majority of them are sponsors. So we all get some swag. Um, at the party last year, the Friday, it's like a rally. So everybody comes, you eat, you watch, you listen. Uh, Joe Biden was there speaking and it was, it was amazing. And then Saturday morning, those of us riding less than 100 miles uh, meet up at a couple different locations and we all take off at the same time. Like they stagger, it's a stage takeoff, but you know, we're all leaving Columbus around the same time in the morning and depending on how many miles you ride and then they have a party at the end. The more miles you ride, the bigger the party, but there's food, there's drink. They usually have a band or a DJ. They have uh, beverages. For the riders, it's all included. For family, it's a donation. But it, it's just amazing. There's people on the road cheering you on. I mean, it's honestly, it's amazing experience. So the reason for that side note was, last year we got a backpack. <laughs> it's gray and it has Pelotonia on it. And then on the inside, it has this color green arrows all over it. But it's smaller. I wouldn't use it necessarily for carry-on, although I totally could. And I might when we get down to the nitty gritty when I pack my carry on bag. Right now, I, my plan is for a larger backpack only because um, bringing home souvenirs and stuff, I wouldn't have that extra room. But we'll see. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of on my agenda today is cleaning that room before I don't have to eat dinner and get ready and leave my house about 5.30 to get to the Schottenstein Center, which is on Ohio State campus by 6. I think I have to be indoors at 6.20, but I need to be there at 6 so we can park and walk in. And I will work the event tonight and come home. And then I'm getting up first thing early. I also have to go through my coupons. But I will get up first thing early and hit CVS because the other, the other vlogger and I are going to run into each other again. And that the one... The only deal that I believe she and I will both want to do at the same time is going to be the Johnson's wipes again, but I can try a different store if they don't have them. I'm just going to wait on the wipes because I feel like I have the lotion. I have, not lotion, I'm sorry, I have baby powder and I have shower hair, hair wash, shampoo, most people call it. And the hand and face wipes, but I would like to get more hand and face wipes for both people to gift to them or I could do another powder shampoo and then so one powder one shampoo more wipes and gift to three people because I do know three folks that have little babies so that's probably what I'll end up doing and that'll be a fun little gifty gift to the folks in my life who have babies or one of them hasn't even had a baby and one girl that I'm gifting to, I don't even know her, but her best friend's mom is my coworker, and she's sad, sad case. Um, had the baby, well, was pregnant with baby. Everything was going great, and then they found a lump on her neck, and she was tested, and she was just diagnosed with leukemia. They don't know what kind or what stage, and she wasn't able to do any kind of testing because she was eight months pregnant at the time when they diagnosed her so or not quite eight months yeah because it was about a month ago and they took the baby a couple weeks early they had to wait for the baby to get healthy enough I'm assuming they gave her like steroids or excuse me whatever to help the baby's um, lungs mature faster okay Go ahead and cut me off because I wasn't driving or anything. Oh, people drive like crazy people. Um, so anyway, she had the baby and now she's going to start treatment. So I really just wanted to, to do something nice. You know, just something. I thought, you know what, let's do some couponing and see what I can get in the baby section for her that would be helpful, you know? Nothing life shattering, nothing earth shattering, just nice. So that's where I'm at. I'm almost home. We chit chatted, we dollar treat. I'm gonna go in the house and do 
do some organizing. Maybe I'll do a before and after shot of this horrible table that is uh, disaster area number one because it is terrible. So I'll be back. Bye.